What's in your pockets, guys? Average Gear Reviewer here, back again with another video for you. In this one, of course, you know it's the end of the week. You know what that means. It's Friday. It's time to take off all this gear that we've been wearing all week, all this stuff that's been wearing us down, all the stuff that we have to have to be prepared. But the weekend is upon us. It's time to take all that stuff off. Am I right? Am I right? It's time for the TGIF Pocket Dump. Let's get it. Welcome to Average Gear Review, where the best gear is the gear you have on you. And before I forget to tell you, welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first video, thank you so much for stopping by to watch one of my little videos. It really does mean a lot to me. I appreciate it so much. If you're a returning viewer, great to see you again. I hope everybody's doing well. Been uh, a little busy around the house this week. I've been working on my white horse concept knife. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with that. I've been posting a few things on Instagram. Um, you know, if you don't, go follow me over there, Average Gear Review. It's all uh, lowercase. Put it here, here. I don't. I never know which side it's going to. It seems like it always puts it on the other side. Anyway, um, really excited about this week's pocket dump, guys, because I do have some new stuff that I can't wait to show you. And, uh, you know, if you're new to the series, this is the video series we do every week where I will go through and I'll just show you what I've been carrying. I show you what, uh, where I carry everything on my body to just give you some ideas of how, you know, you might be able to incorporate some things into your own EDC. And also I go through new changes. I am constantly on the look for new EDC gear. I'm always trying out new knives, new wallets, uh, just switched wallet out recently. I know a lot of you guys probably remember that one. Um, you know, so I'm always trying out new stuff. Um, I try to think of it as I'm going to try this stuff out, uh, and spend the money so you guys don't have to. So, you know, um, if this is your first time with, uh, watching the TGIF pocket dump, welcome. And, uh, what we'll do is I will, um, stand up. I'll show you where I'm carrying everything on body. And then, uh, we'll go to a top down view. I'll show you exactly what everything is. And I'll go through a little bit about why I carry what I carry and any things that have changed this week. Um, you know, as always, have you guys, uh, has your EDC changed any this week? I'm just always curious, uh, you know, to know what you guys are carrying, uh, how your EDC is evolving. I know that mine is constantly changing. I'm always adding new things. I'm always taking things away. So, you know, it's, it's, a, just a constant process, but it's a journey. And, um, uh, so I hope you guys will follow along with me. If you're not subscribed, you know, subscribe so you can uh, hang out with us every, every week. Uh, we do it every Friday. And um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, get into the carry this week. It's going to be uh, something a little bit different that I'm going to show you guys because with it, uh, with summertime and warmer weather coming up, what I wanted to do this week is, and I hope I don't just kill the mic there. Um, what I wanted to do this week is show you an example of a pack carry. And uh, actually, I had been running around today and had to go run some errands right before and that's why i'm shooting it so late so um i do apologize that the video is going to come out a little bit late um you know that's my bad i had to run some errands but this is actually uh the stuff that i was carrying around with me um exactly how i was carrying it so i thought i'd go through here and just show you guys give you an example of a pack carry. does that sound good sound good okay Sweet. yeah guys i'll just show you a uh, from the front view and i'll just uh, what i usually do is go from the left to the right and just kind of show you everything I'm carrying left side to right side. Just seems to be an easy way to do it. Um, the first thing that I have on, it's not going to surprise anybody if you've watched any of my videos before. That I drop stuff. And I'll drop every other thing. Don't worry. It's the uh, Tick Watch Pro. Oh. The Tick Watch Pro. Always have that on me. And excuse me if I kill the mic again here. And I do just have a basic ball cap on. Um, it's always good to wear one just to keep the sun out of your eyes, keep, uh, rain out of your face, etc. Of course, the iMini 2. I wear on a chain around my neck. If you haven't seen this one before, the iMini 2 is a magnetic flashlight. And when you pull it off the base, it activates the light. And it's not very bright. It's just a good little, um, nice little EDC type light. Again, around my neck, and um, I got a pair of sunglasses clipped on the outside of here. I'm just going to take those off because they're kind of in the way. Sunglasses doesn't really matter. Um, I tend to try to get some that are ANCI or ANSI rated pretty highly, just for impact resistance and things like that. So, um, 
in my left hand pocket here, I have the pocket platform from Nifi King. And um, what it does is it allows me to sort of aggregate all my smaller EDC items into one place. And uh, you can see that I have a Sharpie in here. I've got a titanium fly bar. Got the SOG power leader. I have my Lighter Bro Pro actually fits in there as well. And in here, I've got an i3 EOS, smaller little keychain type flashlight, just as an extra sort of backup flashlight there. And again, we'll get into the pack in just a minute. Um, I do have a Ohank. Usually just keep that in my back pocket. Um, right back pocket, I've got the Fidelo minimalist wallet. Really cool how it uh, allows you to pop your keys up there. Or your cards, sorry. <laughs> pop your cards up there. And then I do keep it. And I will usually keep a Odical. Well, it's a Olight, um, O card, I believe is what they're called. Um, I have a link for them down in the description if you want to check one of those out. But anyway, that's in the right back pocket. In the right pocket, I'm carrying a Spyderco Para 3 right now. Um, it just happens to be what I have on me. Um, and I'll, when we get to the top down, I'll explain um, exactly why I'm carrying that particular knife right now. So over on the left side, I've got my small arm retention knife and I'm actually carrying the white horse concept knife that I've been working on. Um, this is sort of something that I'm just, uh, I've come up with my own. I put a little bit of grip tape on there um, just because I'm having some issues with the handles. I'm prototyping the handles out of wood. I don't know if you can see it or not. They're crappy. Uh, but I just got some G10 scales in, so I'm going to try my hand at uh, crafting some out of the G10. So we'll see how that works out. But uh, yeah, you, I'm carrying that as my small arms retention knife right now. And um, actually been really happy with it. I like it a lot. Um, great size to me. But anyway, I don't want to go on and on about that. Uh, if you guys are interested in that, I might do a future video on it. Just let me know in the comments down below. Um, I'm carrying that in a Kydex sheath. Just have it mounted to a plain Spider Co. C-clip. Easy peasy. So, in the pack, um, I don't have anything in this middle pocket right now. But in the back pocket here, I've got my tourniquet. And in the front pocket here... I have something super cool that I really want to show you guys. It is da, 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 the Pocket Platform Ultra. Oh, yeah. It's the Big Daddy. Yep, that's right, guys. It's uh, from Knife King. It's the Pocket Platform Ultra. You can see it's got way taller pockets. Um, where's the other one? Compare it to the uh, standard version. You can see it's got way taller pockets. Let's you carry some much larger things in there. When we go to the top down view, I'll show you what all I'm carrying in this one, but also on the back. Got room for patches. <laughs> so cool. Shout out to Will on that one. Keep, uh, keep those improvements coming on the pocket platform, dude. We, uh, I know a lot of people are big fans of them, and uh, I definitely am. So inside here, I keep... Um, IFAC, AFAC. It's really just more of a boo boo kit. And uh, of course, in here as well, I've got, let me just unclip the holster so you can see how I'm carrying it. Got the holster, got a Flower Codex holster clipped into. G, um, got the G2C clipped into it and that's clipped into the inside of the pouch here. So what it allows me to do is since I'm wearing shorts um, with no belt, I can carry the pistol that way. Now I can also believe it'll work. This ulti clip really will let you clip to just about anything and these aren't heavy duty shorts, um, but I actually could clip it to the inside of those fairly easily. I, I don't think I would wear it like that because it's just not as secure. But um, 
you, you definitely can do it. You can clip it to sweats too. That's the uh, ulti clip is what's allowing you to do that. It's uh, sort of like a cam buckle that attaches to the holster. Well, and it just clamps down. And uh, if you look at the way that it's made really quick, I'm just going to show you. It's got a piece that slides, will slide uh, between your belt and your jeans or pants or shorts, whatever you're wearing. And then this will clip onto the belt. So, yeah, really cool, really cool little system there. I'm a big fan of the uh, Ulti series. In fact, I've got a, um, I've got an Ulti Clip 2.2, I think, coming uh, to mount the uh, White Horse too. So, yeah, anyway, this is, um, I don't know how you guys feel about pack carries. Uh, I'm not really like a huge fan of fanny packs. I, I do use them and wear them sometimes. I wear one for work, especially. Um, but I like this because you, know, you could put it around behind your back, get it out of the way. You could carry it under your arm and keep it safe. You could carry it up high on your chest if you need to get that quick access, you know. Um, so it gives you a lot of options as far as how you can carry it. But um, anyway, let's take a look at the top down here and I'll, uh, looking at the top down view, kind of just give you an overview of what I'm carrying. It's like, why am I carrying all this stuff? <laughs> uh, a lot of it's redundant and, and I get that. Um, I, I'm a, I believe in the old saying, you know, uh, two is one and one is none. So I do tend to put a lot of redundancy into my carry and then other things I don't have redundancies for. So yeah, I know it probably doesn't make a lot of sense, but uh, I'm learning as I go here, just like you guys are. And like I said at the beginning, I do have quite a few different things that I'm carrying and wearing, but uh, a lot of it is the same. You know, this week I just wanted to kind of show you guys a little bit, uh, something a little bit different with the pack carry. And it actually is how I was carrying my stuff around today. And I actually do um, carry like that quite a bit. So I have been using my left-handed pocket platform where I keep my mostly used EDC items in here. Uh, Sharpie, the pry bar, my little uh, power leader, you know, the Ladder Bro Pro, got to have that on you little smaller flashlight just um, as sort of a backup there. Um, I really do like the new Ultra version of the Pocket Platform. If you're watching, Will, I'm really digging this. I love the, uh, the way that it has the hook on the back so that you can put patches on. I mean, the loop. Sorry, it's got a loop on the back so you can put patches on there. Also, you could affix this to something if you had, uh, you know, a pouch or something with a hook patch on the inside to just mount it right to that, which is um, an idea that I've got for using with it. I've got my best case scenario from Lynch Northwest in here. I've got an i5T, pretty big size flashlight there. I'm shaking the camera all over the place and I apologize guys. I've got the Leatherman Wave in here just to show you how big the pockets are on here. And then I got my little Oticle D1 bit driver over there as well, just to kind of round it out. But, um, you know, this is a, just sort of an extended carry, a little bit heavier duty versions of some of the items that I have in other places, just as a backup or just as, you know, if I need something that's a little more heavy My duty. sinuses are killing me, guys, and I apologize. I'm, I'm trying to cut out all the sniffles and sneezes from this. Um, but if I sound stopped up, I, my nose is a little bit stopped up. So I do apologize for that. Um, I am carrying the Spyderco Pair 3. At the CPM S45VN version here with the micarta scales, but that's about to change. If you guys watched my last video, I got in the Fibonacci Northern Light scales from Lynch Northwest from uh, Thomas over there. Shout out to Thomas. And if you guys missed that video, I'll put a link for it up here. Check that out. I got some really cool stuff in it, including the uh, shirt that I'm wearing right now. And, um, yeah, just got a lot of nice stuff. It's got a clip for it here. So I'm really kind of, um, I'm not trying to hurry through this video, but I am almost hurrying through it because the next thing I'm going to do is put these on. And I'm probably going to shoot a video of that if so, just so if you guys want to see um, how it looks and how it's done. But uh, that's why I'm carrying the pair of three right now because I literally was about to shoot that video and uh, realized, hey guys, it's time for the TGI pocket dump. Man, what am I doing here? So, um, if you guys have been following along 
at all on my Instagram, or if you've heard me talking in the past, I've been trying to find the perfect little fixed blade EDC knife. I wanted something that's a ring style, um, but small, a little bit smaller than an SOP dagger, maybe about the size of an SOCP mini, but just with the little bit nicer scales on it, um, I'm closing in on a form factor that I really like. And I, and I know this looks rough, guys. Just bear with me on this one because, like I said, I'm just trying to rough in a, uh, a prototype for the scales that I want. And my idea is to use an existing knife that's already out there. I bought this knife off of Amazon, and it turned out to be tiny. It was, like, probably that big with the original scales. And I just, I, you can barely hold it in your hand. It, I thought it was bigger from the pictures. Anyway, that's a whole other story. Uh, it's been just sitting around for a while, and I thought, you know, I'm going to use that for something. So I decided I would just uh, make a set of scales with a ring. This is actually the third set of scales that I've done for it because the wood is just not strong enough, and I like to flip it way too much. And so, yeah, hardwood floors and... um not enough material on this ring being made out of wood. Um, it just, they're not faring well. So like I said, this is a really the third set of scales that I've done. These aren't as detailed as the last set that I did. Um, but I got some G10 scales in today. And uh, one of the next projects I'm going to be working on is trying to, um, trying to make some scales for those. And really, I'm just using um, a Dremel. That's the only tool that really I've used on this so far is just different Dremel attachments. So not very hard to do, but I, I'm, I'm actually closing in on something that I'm happy with. And um, I'd love to know what you guys think about this form factor. Let me know in the comments down below um, if, if this is something that you think you would carry. I'm calling it the white horse right now. I've got some reflective tape on it just to sort of reinforce these areas because this tends to be where it breaks that probably won't be on the final version, but it might because I really like how it looks when you're spinning it. Um, and it does glow in the dark pretty well. So, um, but anyway, uh, that's about it for anything new, I think. And I'm probably putting that in upside down. I am. And again, like I said, I've got it just in a, uh, the Kydex sheet that this little small knife actually came with is perfect for that. That was another thing with the SOCP dagger. I, I don't like how it has the super long sheath for it. I wish I, had, I wanted something that gave you more of a chance to grab the handle and get more of the handle in your hand. So um, I know there are knives similar to this that are out there right now. And I know you guys are probably going to flood the, you know, flood the comments with, well, this knife is this and this knife is this. Yes, there are knives that are similar, but there's nothing that's really exactly what I'm looking for. And uh, so, like I said, I just want to try and make one on my own. But um, anyway, let's, uh, let me let you know my final thoughts and uh, we'll get out of here. So yeah, guys, I just want to say thanks for watching. I really do appreciate you watching all the way through to the end of the video. It means a lot. It really does. If you like the video, please consider leaving a like down below. It really does help us grow the channel. It lets us know that we're producing good content and doing videos that you guys like. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this week's carry. Are you tired of this? Is this boring? Are you getting tired of the same pocket dump every week? Is it not change enough? Is it, are you tired of my ring light going out on every other frame? <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm not going to fool with this thing. Anyway, uh, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you are not subscribed, brother, I don't know what you're waiting on. Go down there and hit that subscribe button real quick. I'll wait on you to come back. Go ahead. While he's gone, hey, what's that guy's deal? He's, he's coming back. Hey, so, yeah, guys, it's your average gear reviewer. And as always, remember, always be caring. And the best gear is the gear you have on you. Average gear reviewer, I'm out of here. Average gear review. But the best gear is the gear you have on you.